Like many people, I come from a family of healthcare providers. My mom was a nurse in the operating room. Her brother, my uncle, was a general surgeon. My father ran physician and dental practices. Uh, that was the first generation. The second generation is, is mine. And um, I have a sister who was a nurse in the pediatric psychiatric unit. I have a sister who's a physical therapist. My brother works for insurance industry and healthcare, so it was just a natural that I, this fell into our slots. It was our Sunday conversation. A lot of people ask me why I came to Howard County General Hospital, and, and I always tell the story that the first phone call came from Johns Hopkins Medicine, and uh, when Johns Hopkins calls, I don't care who you are in the, in the nation and probably in the world as an administrator, that's a call that you accept. And then when I discovered it was actually for a role in Howard County, and I discovered the history of Howard County, and particularly Columbia, with the planned community, um, it was a very attractive uh, setting. I think what you get with the innovation at Johns Hopkins Medicine is the most innovative healthcare in a local setting. And if you can get that quality of care when you can drive up to the front entrance, park free, walk 15 yards to the front door and know that it's the quality of Johns Hopkins Medicine. I think there's, there's a, a great feeling of, of comfort and, and security to the patients that we're serving here in Howard County. Columbia, which many consider to be the center of Howard County, is 50 years old this year. And the, um, the pioneers who kind of settled Columbia have aged in place and now our, our baby boomers and are beginning to recognize that as you age you consume more health care and um, so we are spending a lot of our time recognizing that um, not only is Howard County growing it still is one of the best places to live in America and, and we see the evidence of that by record numbers uh, the last three years of deliveries new babies being born in our hospital but we're also recognizing that that it's aging and graying we are completing a facility master plan now that's looking over the next 10 to 15 years and looking at the facility requirements that are needed on this campus, as well as the uh, ambulatory services, primary care physicians, subspecialty physicians, education spaces that are needed in the community and um, partnering with social service agencies to, to enable those things to occur. Our community working together and identifying needs um, identifying resources and partnering the way that we can um, with dignity and respect for, for the patient um, um, to help them understand what's going on in their life and, and uh, navigate through the, the course of care and then back to health and wellness is, is really a special uh, opportunity.